tonight, a man is facing charges after allegedly committing sex crimes against a 13-year-old girl he met at his place of work. That man who works at the Kendall Ice Arena bonded out today after facing a judge. CBS 4's Joe Gorcho is there tonight. And Joe, you spoke with some of the parents. What did they have to say? Lauren Elliott, I had a chance to speak with more than 10 parents here in the parking lot outside of Kendall Ice Arena. Almost all were too afraid to speak with us on camera out of fear of retaliation from the business. They did share concerns that they have after learning of these allegations involving a current employee. Super concerning, especially me being a mom of a toddler thinking of putting her here into classes. A mom expresses concern about an employee's arrest. I hope that person is no longer employed. But he is still employed, according to two managers we spoke with. 27-year-old Angel Diaz faces charges, including lewd and lascivious battery on a child. Right, no contact with the victim through social media or other electronic means, and you must stay at least 500 feet away from the victim. On Thursday, a judge ordered Diaz to have no contact with the victim. Detectives say Diaz's friendship with the minor began in 2020 at Kendall Ice Arena, where he works. The victim was 13 at the time. Authorities detail the two exchanged phone numbers here, kissed on the roof here, and by October engaged in consensual sex in a small room inside the business. He got arrested for serious charges from September 1st of 2020. Charges from actions years ago and just coming to light now add another layer of fear for parents. Management should be more on top of it. There should be more cameras and more responsible adults around our kids. Other parents echoed her sentiments and the need for more cameras inside the facility for safety. Diaz denied having a relationship with the girl back in 2020, but police showed him text messages. He's now out on bond. And the two managers we spoke with expressed shock after learning about the allegations and added, you're innocent until proven guilty and did not take any of our questions. Another parent we had a chance to speak with here in the parking lot shared that this was her first night here with her daughter and it might be her last in light of the news. Joe Gorcho, CBS4 News Tonight.